Do you ever wonder what the difference is between a press roll and a buzz roll? We always used the terms interchangeably, and I always just kind of assumed that they were one and the same thing. But, you know, it's good to be sure. So I actually gargled it, and it turns out, yes. Press rolls and buzz rolls are the same thing. And technically it's called a multi-stroke roll because it's definitely not a double stroke roll. And press rolls, buzz rolls, we call them press rolls usually, or buzz rolls. Anyway, it's, it's a separate technique. It's different from double stroke rolls closed and open. And as you close it, it becomes a multi-stroke roll and it's more than two strokes per hand. So let's step over to the drums and I would like to show you um, how press rolls work. And that's realistically, press rolls and buzz rolls are played only on the snare drum. You can do them on other drums, but the tuning has a lot to do with the smoothness of the roll because you're dependent on the rebound of the stick. So some things to remember when you're doing press rolls. All it is, Really, you're, you're holding the stick by the fulcrum and your other fingers are not doing much manipulation at all. And you just literally press it into the head. Like that. You want both hands to be able to do it exactly the same. And the harder you press, the closer together the rebound is going to be. If you can do that, and you practice it individually like that, your strokes are open, but the uh, sticks are buzzing, and then you start overlapping them. So rules of thumb, you want to move toward the edge of the drum. You can move really close to the edge, move back and forth and find your sweet spot, and overlap those strokes, left to right, right to left. Is how you do a press roll or a buzz roll and if you practice it a little bit it's not that difficult to get a really smooth roll if you move to the center of the drum the rebound is not the same and it's not going to be quite as smooth so generally you want to move toward the edge maybe halfway to the edge but then you can go right to the edge And that uh, will reduce the volume and also the rebound is slightly better and it gets better as you go out to the edge. So we move to the tom doing, I don't know what this is going to sound like, but a, uh, a press roll in the center of the tom. Okay, that actually sounded better than I thought it would. Now you move away from the center of the drum and you can hear that there's much less attack. So it becomes more a, a tone. Um, so that's, that's it for press rolls. I mean, watch my hands. You can see that these three fingers are not doing much. I'm really not sticking my pinky out because it's so drilled into my head from one of my first drum teachers. Um, and you don't need to. You can pull your hands in and it's just less unsightly. When drummers start sticking their pinkies out, it's, it's not a good look. <laughs> 